it's your girl Jia and I'm back with another video. This video is going to be pretty informative on how I take my Instagram pictures and possibly edit them. I don't really do a lot of editing but um, I am going to give you a bunch of tips and tricks on how I take my own. You don't have to go out and buy the most expensive equipment. You don't have to buy lighting and all of that. You can actually use the things that you have at home. So, if y'all are interested and want to see more, keep watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment after this video. <laughs> okay, so let's check. Rule number one. Rule number one to be a eh, Okay, but well, rule number one. Um, rule number one is you want to take quality photos. You don't want to take pictures that really no one will like or like the quality is blurry or saturated too much adding too much filters and too much saturation too much color and all of that to it will really just take away from your pictures so you want to make the pictures as natural and natural looking as possible really but um, my advice would be to have a nice camera or nice phone like um Usually any iPhone takes good pictures like the newer version of iPhones take takes way better pictures than the older versions but the older versions do take really nice pictures as well so I feel like you don't have to just go out and buy an expensive camera or anything. I have a um, Canon T5i camera that I take all of my pictures with all of my Instagram pictures I take with that. I don't take pictures on my phone because I don't have the newer version of iPhone. I think I have like the 6S Plus because I don't need the newer version if I have a camera. So, um, yes, I have. I use my camera and um, most of the time I always take pictures when it's bright outside. Like the sun is shining down and that's honestly when you get the best pictures because when you're outside or... In the sun, the sun just beams on you and then if you are at the right angle or taking pictures from the right the right positions, like your pictures are gonna come out so freaking bomb because the sun, the sun helps out so much. Like y'all do not understand how much the sun helps out. But in other words, um when the sun is not out, I find that um using like lights or lighting or you don't even have to use lighting like you can use a flash on your camera or anything like that or you can actually brighten up the picture with a filter on Instagram before you post it it, it has like a, a brighten effect that you can brighten up your picture if it's too dark I always end up brightening up or darkening my pictures because I feel like don't brighten it up too much but I feel like that gives it more of a natural kind of like it makes it pop more it makes it stand out more and you want to take pictures that's gonna stand out to um, your followers like not no one's gonna just like a, a random picture that's like you know not well thought out I guess I mean I take pride in like what I put on my Instagram now that I started a YouTube but used to I just used to post anything and that might get like a hundred two hundred likes but I mean it's not that serious for some people and I do understand that but um my second thing well this is about my third fourth thing but um my third thing would be your attire like every time I take a picture I take a picture in a new outfit like a new my thing is fashion and makeup and beauty basically and your thing might be music or your thing might be food or something like that do what makes you you honestly because it's you like nobody can do you better than you so show the world like what you are or who you are or what you love to do like if anybody judges you because of that come on now why like they they're worried about the wrong thing basically so i honestly just take pride in fashion makeup cosmetics clothes handbags shoes everything like the whole nine yards so that's what basically what i base my instagram off of 
And another thing is um, your scenery, your setting. When you take a picture, whether that's at home, whether that's in the club, whether that's out and about while you're out and about, make sure that your setting, your surroundings, and everything is, I don't know, photo ready. Like, um, it, it'll catch your attention. Like, um, say if I'm in my room, I want to make sure my room is clean and looking nice before I take a picture. Because if you have clothes everywhere, if your bed is not made up, like, that's going to take away from the picture and it's going to be make people be like, oh, why would she post this? Like, it's not, it's not cute. But, at the same time, if you're taking them outside or anything, you want to have a good setting, basically, like, um... I usually take a lot of my pictures in Jackson because Jackson has so much that you can do and it's it's just so much it's like it's more colorful and especially when the sun is out like I said it's um it'll attract more and then the cities that you're in you can tag the cities in your pictures and a lot of people from that you might not follow but from that city they will see your picture and they will like it and then it goes from there and that leads me to my next thing um blank backgrounds blank backgrounds are my absolute favorite like on instagram you will see a lot of my pictures have blank backgrounds like if i find a blank wall with nothing nothing on it nothing just like a blank white wall or blank blue or a blank um yellow wall i will i will run to it because especially like when you're outside and the sun is beaming on that wall and it's just you're you're the only thing standing there you're the only thing in the way so it's just bomb like take it from me if you go outside and take a picture by a blank wall or something like that you will it will attract so much more attention to yourself like to details and stuff like your outfits it will attract attention to your makeup Make sure when you take pictures, your makeup is fly, your makeup is bomb, haircut on fleek, everything. <laughs> because I find that simplicity stands out so much more. Like, the more simple something is, the more it stands out or the more it it just blows up, to be honest. Um, now, I don't dress simple, but I will say, like, my pictures, like, my backgrounds and stuff, they are more on the simple side, and I do love that. Um, another thing is hashtags or what you tag in your photos. I recommend that everybody tag who they are wearing in their photos. Whether you got a jacket from Nike or shoes from journeys or something like that tag where you got them from or tag what kind of shoe brand it is like that will definitely get you some recognition on instagram that will make people reach out to you that will make people want to work with you and want them want you to um wear some of their clothes they might even give you free clothes they might give you free whatever it is you do they might if you're a model and you take pictures I'm not a model like I'm not a model people ask me that all the time nope not a model I just love taking pictures I love taking making my Instagram look nice because I am a makeup artist so when people come to my page I want them to see that I'm more than just a makeup artist I'm more than just Jessica like I'm I want them I want to be presentable to a wider variety than the cosmetics or the beauty or the fashion industry so with that being said um just tag away tag away because companies will reach out to you whether or not you play sports or anything like if you're a basketball player tag hashtag away like you could go viral <laughs> basically but I'm not gonna really get into um how I take my pictures I guess like um the software that I use right now but if y'all do want to know that then let me know comment below and let me know um this is really just giving advice and tips on how to make your Instagram or how to take 
standoutish pictures without breaking the bank basically like you don't have to go out and get a really expensive photographer like you can be your own just make sure you have good quality photos like I believe on, on the iPhone it's um the HDM HDM no I don't know one of the the settings on the iPhone that you can click on and the picture will come out just more saturated well not saturated but more like the quality is so much better than just regular photos so I would definitely recommend that so um yeah that's all you guys if y'all want to know more and if y'all want me to go more into detail and depth about what I do exactly and how I take my pictures and how I edit them then please let me know and I will definitely make a video for you guys so thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like subscribe and comment after this video see you later don't take it personal person